Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a mini review for you guys on the new Too Faced eyeshadow palette. It is the Chocolate Bar palette from Too Faced. And watch out at the end because I am going to be doing a makeup look using this. According to their website, it is 16 all new shades that has never been seen before. The price of this is $49. It is quite expensive but you're getting like I said 16 eyeshadows and not only that uh, unlike, unlike some other palettes like the Naked palettes it only comes with two or three matte colors. This one actually comes with six matte colors so it is very versatile and I can just see myself bringing this with me when I travel because I can create multiple looks just by using this. You have a highlighter, a blending color, beautiful um, purple, red, plum, burgundy colors you can play with. Um, just looking at the box, it does really look like a chocolate bar. My son would probably think that this is really chocolate. As you can see, the packaging is just absolutely cute. They call it the chocolate bar because they use cocoa powder, that's why it smells like chocolate as well. So when you open this up, it's going to have a little sheet inside, which is not my favorite. This contains the names of all the eyeshadows in this palette. I wish they had the names written on the actual palette, but oh well right i might just put this in here since i rarely use the mirror in my eyeshadow palettes anyway and in case you lose the little sheet inside that says the name if you can try to keep the box because the at the back also shows you the name of the eyeshadows inside so um this is the look that i have created it is a mix of purple burgundy, some greens and pinks and browns. So I tried to use as much color just so you can see what the actual color looks like in the lid. If you are interested on how I got this look, please keep on watching. So I am just going to prime my eyes using my favorite eye primer which is the NARS Smudge Proof Base. I always want to put a base before applying my eyeshadow. Here I am using MAX Paint Pot in Bare Study. Using an E55 brush from Sigma, I am going to apply creme brulee in the inner corner of my eyelids. Here I am mixing Black Forest Truffle and Marzipan and putting it at the center of my eyelids. Still using the same eye shading brush, I am going to apply Gilded Ganache into the outer corner of my eye and extending it a little bit into the crease.
To blend all the colors, I am going to use Sigma's E25 brush. Now for the outer V, I am going to apply Candid Violet and I am using a small tapered brush to be more precise with the application. And I am slowly building up the colors instead of applying it all at once heavily. After this one, I am also putting Amaretto just on top of where I placed the Candid Violet just to add more dimension. Now to clean off the edges, I am going to apply salted caramel and just blending everything out. Make sure that it doesn't have any harsh lines. To highlight the brow bone, I am using white chocolate and applying it with a large shader brush. And for the last time, I am blending everything out with strawberry bonbon using a clean blending brush. Now for my eyeliner, which you can't see because of my very good filming skills, I am using Urban Decay's Glide On Psychedelic Sisters liner and topping that off with Candid Violet. For my lower lash line, I just decided to use Creme Brulee to brighten up my eyes. Here I am using Lancome's Hypnose Drama Mascara and this is one of my absolute favorite. It makes your lashes look full and longer. It kind of looks like you're wearing falsies actually. Now to complete the look, I am going to apply a light pink lip gloss. Here, I am using Love Child by Urban Decay. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys like my video. And as always, hope you have a great day. Bye!